Hi there my fellow gamers, the good news was announced yesterday that Apex Legends will finally start working on Linux. Uh, it seems that developers has enabled easy anti-cheat and it's working on Steam through Proton. Um, earlier today when I was looking on the Proton DB, there was some reports here. I'm not sure exactly why the reports were removed. Oh, okay, so there's the reports on our back. I think they were doing some some new things here, so not tried any of this out yet. But I see there's some guys that's adding a lot of commands here. Maybe I will I'll try that in a later stage. Let me see what this guy is doing here. Okay, this is just some custom stuff here. And yeah, everybody was was complaining about the same thing. Basically that they're getting lots of stuttering. It seems to be at this point in time, probably like this guy's also mentioned here, a shader compilation. And I also, also noticed this myself, that after a few games, it does get better. So let me quickly show you how to set this all up. So download Epic Legends like you would normally download a game through the Steam, Steam Store. Then as far as I know it's only working on Proton Experimental at the moment. But only on the Breeding Edge branch. So to get that, uh, Proton. Right click on Proton Experimental. Go to properties, go to betas, open this list. So, probably for most people, it'd be on none. Choose bleeding edge, proton will update. Once it updates, you can go, go back to your game. And then, what I was adding here for custom load options is mango art equals one, just so that it displays the mango art. Game mode run to just to enable game mode compatibility force the use of steam play proton experimental and then also what I've got enabled is the shader pre-caching okay so let's see how it runs so hopefully me being disconnected now due to inactivity will not Make it really bad again. Let's see. And this is actually really good news because um, a game that I really want to play, Lost Ark, also uses easy anti cheat, and so far the devs has not added it. And as I understand, it's quite easy to add for the devs. So let's hope that they add it in the future. And I think this is one of the good things that we've now seen coming out of the launch of the Steam Deck. Typically not the type of game that I would play, um, more Archie RPG kind of guy. But I think this is good news because we will see more and more games now getting support on Steam. And of course more and more Steam games that get support on Linux is good for all of us that are playing on Linux. And I decided to cap mine to 60 frames per second because, like I said earlier, there was lots of stuttering. And for me to, to cap it to 60 frames a second seemed to, to fix the majority of the stuttering. So, your mileage might vary. I, I've got a fairly low end system. So, for me, this is the base settings. I've got a GTX 1060. 6 gigabyte and i5 processor 
and I don't really know if, if it's the same type of performance as Windows. I know that there were also guys saying that the stuttering during this uh, jump-in or launch was also prevalent on Windows. So, yeah, let me know in the comments if, if it was, if, if there's similar experience on Windows. Like I said, for the initial couple of seconds, there's lots of lag. Of course, for this type of games, I understand that you want absolutely no lag. But, yeah, it does get better. Just know that. As you can see, it's already... Oh, man. I'm screwed. Where's my teammates? Come on, come on, revive me. Thank you very much. Yeah, as you can see, it's it's already running a lot better. Oh. As you can see, total noob, but I can confirm that the game is running better, and I will keep on testing. And if there's any custom launch options that I see that can potentially help out to make the game run smoother, I will post it in the comments or add it to the description. But yeah, enjoy you guys, and good times are coming for Linux gaming.